I think a lot of what was in the media was misrepresentation. But, you know, so what? You don't like the heat, don't go in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, uh, uh, yeah. So I didn't want what I did to be an extension of what was already there, to make it better, to make it uh, easier, to make it anything as an extension of what was already there. And if you are going to uh, step outside the nine dots, as they call it, mm. uh, you know, you're going to have controversy and uh, too bad. <laughs> Part of the ballgame. <laughs> yes, so, exactly. As you look at the film now, and you said, you just told me to walk out, you hadn't seen the whole film at once. No, I hadn't. You know, what's your gut reaction? You know, it's, I don't know. It's <laughs> like, uh, I can remember interacting with the people I saw me interacting with. I can remember those people. And I have to tell you, that's a very moving experience for me. Yeah. To see, to see the courage, wow, that of, of, of people willing to be straight about yeah. what they've been crooked about in the past, even yeah. though uh, most people wouldn't characterize uh, it as being crooked. But, you know, yeah. again, to be Werner Earhart-ish about it. To come to grips. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I can't do the Werner Earhart, but I can, you know. Yeah, I, but I, I, so, yeah, I was moved by that. Uh, I thought that the uh, uh, people who were critical were uh, good at doing what they did. They uh, made the right kind of questions. I, I, I think that they posed them as answers, unfortunately, but mm. it was certainly, you know, was this a cult? Mm -hmm. uh, now, you know, I'm, I'm not going to give all the defenses about that mm. because I think it's irrelevant, but uh, it was important for me at least to keep up in front of me is what I'm doing somehow leading to some sort of a cult. And, and I have to tell you that the answer for me is no, looking at it as hard as I know how to look at it. Yeah, I think people, you have a, <laughs> you have a transformational experience and it's very difficult to keep it to yourself. Yeah. And uh, if you, if you, uh, it's kind of like the time I got an opportunity to work with what we called at the time Youth at Risk, uh, which program continues to today, uh, to, uh, to see what happened with young gang kids, I mean literal gang kids, uh, when the possibility of making a difference in other people's lives what that did with them and how committed they became to that possibility. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so what am I saying? I'm, I'm saying that I think a transformational experience to go through a moment after which you are left free to be and free to act, to be able to yeah, so I'm going to say it as straight as I can say it. When you can leave behind the way you wound up being, when you're free to choose beyond the way you wound up being, that is so powerful an experience that you're likely to become over-enthusiastic about it. <laughs> yeah, there are certain things that I think you have to be willing to be responsible for when you step into people's lives. And for sure, one of the things you need to be responsible for is to not let, uh, let, let people, don't step out and leave them in a raw place. Now, with my colleagues, uh, when we lead the, when we do this leadership course, uh, I talked to them about, look, you can step away from a person 
when you have what I call the hook set. Uh, mm. And what do I mean by that? Uh, you know, that's tough language, but what I mean by it is when a person has started to, to, to deal for themselves with the conflicting views, i.e. the one they walked in with and the one being presented to them, when they're starting to take a look at, they're oftentimes better off on their own. But you damn well not, you better not forget who they were yeah. so that you're watching to see that they are uh, moving along with whatever it is that they got left with.